Hi, I'm Claudia Christian. And I'm David Honnell. You know, you'd have to be living under a rock to have missed all the buzz and hoopla over The Secret. We got to thinking, The Secret is basically about meditating and visualizing about bringing abundance into your life. We started to think, well, maybe it's better to bring a little reality into your life. So we wrote down a couple little ditties that might just help you do exactly that. Bring some reality into your life. That's right, Claudia. Remember when you were a kid and your parents told you that you could be anything you wanted to be? Even President of the United States of America? Well, they were lying. Visualize all of your physical imperfections disappearing. Do this for a good 30 minutes. Now get up and look in the mirror. Still a fat slob? Try again and again and again. Mm, keep trying. You don't really remember anything about your early childhood. Right? So why waste your money buying your kids birthday and Christmas presents when they're young? Instead, just go take a cruise during holidays and birthdays and leave the kids with your parents. They won't mind. They won't. No. If you don't like your job, then start stealing stuff from work. It'll clear your mind and make you more able to smile more often. It's true. Yeah, mm. yeah I've, I've done it. Take the day off work to pray and visualize. Tell your boss exactly what you're going to do and just see how spiritual he or she is. I am sure that this person that you devote eight hours a day to will completely understand. Do this at least once a week, Mondays and Fridays, preferably. Fridays work best. Oh. Volunteer a lot. Then admit to yourself that it really isn't that satisfying and you'd much prefer being at home watching prison break reruns. Mm. Sad but true. If you hate your job, then start banging someone in the office. An illicit affair always helps the tediousness of a daily job. Yeah. No comment. Yeah. You know, soulmate sounds a bit clingy and obsessive when you really think about it. Uh, yeah. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Hey, <laughs> and while you're at it, why not sell it? This should secure your reputation in the neighborhood as a complete and utter loser. A happy parent is a selfish parent. Mm. Don't waste your time on your kids. They'll blame you for all their failures in life, no matter how many soccer games you attend. Ain't that the truth. You know those warm, random moments when your grown children call you just to say hi and I love you, Mom and Dad? They're thinking about your last will and testament. Trust me. Surround yourself with folks who have failed miserably. Only then will you feel good about yourself. That's a good point. Mm -hmm. Count your friends. Now count your true friends. Now count your friends who would be willing to get seriously injured in order to save your life. Be honest. None, right? Meditate on that. Keep praying, meditating, visualizing. It makes room for the real go-getters in life to get stuff done and make more money. And lastly, your friends, your family, and your lovers have often imagined you dead. It's a fact. Well, thanks for joining us. I hope this inspired you to uh, bring a little reality into your life in addition to joy and abundance and kindness and generosity. God bless. Bye now. Thanks for joining us. It's been great. Why did you wear the Hawaiian shirt? You told me to. I did not. I said wear the, the Magnum P.I. shirt. It's you not... said you, you, you just made a comment no, about I, Tom Selleck's mustache to the... Turn the camera off. What is wrong? You just made a comment this morning about how much you liked Tom Selleck. I did not. I said I liked Three Men and a Baby. It was a movie. But Tom Selleck was, was in Gutenberg. the movie. Steve Gutenberg. So was he. Do I, do I lust after Steve Gutenberg? No, you specifically mentioned Tom Selleck. Okay. It, it, this is, I bought this in Hawaii. It's the actual Tom Selleck uh, uh, shirt company, Magnum P.I.